Hey, this is Justin, and we're at the Rangers vs. Sabres game at Madison Square Garden, the rematch of the Winter Classic, and you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And Philip Forsberg was just suspended today uh, for an incident that happened yesterday, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, he, you, you saw the play? I did. I saw the play. We're, we're going to talk about our opinions on the play and mm -hmm. maybe the game itself a little bit. And uh, obviously the suspension itself. Yeah. Now, Forsberg is a player who has, to my knowledge, not been suspended before. No. He's not a repeat offender. Nope. Uh, he was suspended three games. We can't show the play, obviously, but we'll link it down below. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, and so you know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So Philip Philip Forsberg kind of backed in and around the net to meet up with the opposing player, got him in the face with it looked, in my opinion, the elbow. Although I heard some people calling it the butt end of the stick, I saw the elbow. I didn't see any stick work there. I didn't see. Same as yeah. same here, and we haven't discussed this before this nope. video, so I don't. Nope. I actually don't know your opinion on the suspension, so you guys will find out as I find out. Now, earlier in the game, did you see the Emelin hit? I did. Did you think that was comparable at all to the Forsberg hit? Comparable? No. Did you think that was suspension worthy? No. Do you think the Forsberg hit was suspension worthy? No. I agree. Oh. Yeah. I I honestly I thought it was a joke for a couple of reasons. Number yeah. one. It didn't look malicious or intentional. It just looked like he was trying to lay a hit. Second, he had his head. The other, the opposing player had his head down. Mm -hmm. You need to keep your head up. And uh, he, it's not like he was blindsided. Like he, Forsberg was there prior to him, kind of coming around the net. Like he was, Forsberg was almost <clears> there, <throat> like just waiting for them. Yeah, they were going in. Forsberg went left to go around the net. Yep. Behind, and the opposing player, the Washington Capital. Went around to the right with another Nashville defender. New York Ranger. Sorry. Yeah, New York Ranger. Went around to the right with another Nashville defender and escaped the Nashville defender. He went around behind the net and just prior to the hit, he unloaded the puck and, and flinged it around towards the corner. Yep. By then, Forsberg had already gone inverted and he had them lined up. Uh, the impact might have taken one skate of Forsberg off the ice, but he did not leave his feet. No, he didn't leave his feet. So it wasn't a charge type thing. It was an interference call. Officially, the call was interference because he was hit after he'd gotten mm -hmm. rid of the puck. And as the uh, NHL explained during the explanation, there is a window of time where you can complete a check yep. after the, uh, the uh, about-to-be-checked player has unloaded the puck. I think in the league's view, I don't agree, the league's view, there was too much time had passed between the discharging of the puck and the delivery of the hit. Hey. But when the puck was discharged, and, and uh, it's your show, but uh, when the puck was discharged, when the player got rid of it, he was behind the net. I'm not even sure Forsberg could see him getting rid of the puck. I'm mm -hmm. not sure he even knew that the player had gotten rid of the puck. I don't think it even matters, frankly, because I think it was a clean check and it was delivered within the amount of time that's provided. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that it was it was interference. Um, it looked like Jimmy Vesey was reaching for the puck, in my opinion. That's why he was down like this, coming around the net. Mm -hmm. um, I I just don't understand the three-game suspension. I like If you want to give him one, I still wouldn't agree, but I would accept it. Three games? Really? First, of, for a first offense, after he, I don't even think he's ever been fined. I don't think so either. But you look at Brad Marchand, the intentional chicken wing elbow to the head. It was deemed intentional by the NHL. Five games, mm -hmm. so only two more games in Forsberg, and this is a guy who has been suspended five previous times. And right. you're only going to give him five games, or are you only going to give him six? Five. Five games. Yeah. And it's a sixth suspension, and now you're going to give Forsberg three games. And he's a first-time offender. Are you kidding me? The yeah. inconsistency of NHL player safety and whoever's making this de these decisions, and it changes now. It's Peros. It was Quintel and whatever. Yeah, it's always been inconsistent, in my opinion. I don't understand the logic of giving Forsberg three games for this. If you're going to give Forsberg three games for this, the Emelin hit earlier in the game, in my opinion, was was just as was just as bad because it was straight to the head. So if you're going to uh, suspend Forsberg, then suspend Emelin too. That's my opinion. 
Hockey is a very high speed game. The players have to learn to protect themselves and to protect each other. But there will be times <coughs> like this time when a collision just happens. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a matter of a, an angry player skating up. Forsberg's a 22 year old kid who's only had, you know, two or three full time seasons in the NHL. He's an offensive player and a, and a he's a, just a good all round player. He's got great numbers. He's a clean player, as as is evidenced by his lack of disciplinary history up to this point. I agree. I think he... Keep your head up. And a penalty was not up. called at the time. Yeah. This isn't a case where the penalty got called and they reviewed it and they escalated it to a bigger thing. No penalty was called. <laughs> Two refs on the ice at the time, one probably very close, the other farther away, both had a view of the play. Neither one of them called a penalty. Yeah. I think in this, real time. I think this decision is a joke. Yep. Keep your head up. Uh, it's not comparable to the Marshan one because um, Johansson didn't have to keep his head up because there was no reason to keep it. He already had his head up, and Brad Marshan just came up and hit him. like he, That That was never even supposed to happen. Yeah. Uh, he, In this case, Jimmy Vesey should have been expecting the hit or expecting a possible hit. Keep your head up. And I've looked at some comments on the sports channels that have put the video up. For the most part, I th and I don't think it's too partisan Nashville versus Rangers, but I think most of the fans don't believe that the three-game suspension was appropriate. The only little bit of evidence that the NHL may have gone on, in addition to what they've talked about, is the fact that Forsberg reversed and put his butt end in to the play rather than take the check face on. So if you do this to protect yourself early on. You've got a plan early on. I get they that. might have thought that. I get that argument, but if that's the case, then P.K. Subban should have been suspended about nine times because well, yeah. that's how he lays a lot of his hits. That's right. So A lot of good checks are done that way. Scott Stevens' get... checks were done that way. You, you turn to deliver a good check in a way that's going to have the least opportunity to hurt yourself. Yep. That, that's really all he was doing there. So, yeah, I think it was a, a bad call by the NHL. So what would you have given him? No games and no fine or a fine or... I would have given him nothing. I might have had the disciplinary conversation with him. Yep. Because this all happened after a phone call. That, that the phone call took place on Sunday, on today, as we're doing this on Sunday. I would have had a long talk with him on the phone, but at the result of, as a result of that phone call, I may have determined, look, we've had a good talking to, we've explained to him what we think, you know, was on the edge there for him in the future, perhaps, to think about, but we're not going to do anything right now. I agree. I completely agree with everything you just said. And that doesn't happen often. No, it so. doesn't really. There's something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let us know down in the comments how you guys feel. Um, do you think it should have been a suspension in general? Do you think you should have got more games? Do you think this is okay? Let us know down in the comments. We always want to hear from you guys. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.